today's adventure consists of three things. Abandoned building in an undisposed location. Not getting arrested in said abandoned building. Laundry detergent. So where I'm going is actually right there. The end of this pond. Before I depart, I'm gonna snag some B-roll. So there's a super sick waterfall. So where is it? There. So that was sick. Wasn't even expecting that to happen. Just saw this beautiful lake. Hold on. It is way too hot in here, that's better. I've always been to the intersection of nature and man-made things, and it always gives kind of this like grungy, making people uncomfortable kind of look. I like the moss, I like the falling apart concrete, I like the slippery rocks, I like the graffiti, I like the broken down fence, like, just, just to see both nature and even people rebelling against what everything's supposed to be like. And so through my photos and my videos and my adventures, I've always tried to capture that, that essence. It just gives me such a good feeling. Okay, I'm literally, I don't know if you can see it, I'm literally dripping in sweat right now. And I haven't even made it to the building that I was planning on going to. So now it's time, no more pit stops. Now we go to the building. Pro tip number one, if you're gonna explore somewhere that you're not supposed to or you're not allowed to be in, don't ever park your car at the location that you are going to. Try to find a public park like I'm at right now or maybe a grocery store, something like that where it wouldn't be too sketchy if you left your car there for a long time. So tip number one, make sure you figure out where you're gonna park. Tip number two, don't break in to a place that you're going to. Don't cut the fence, don't smash a window, don't do any of that. Don't ever bring pliers or wire cutters or a crowbar. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a much smaller fence if you're trespassing than if you break and enter. On that note, I literally just found a back trail that led to this location. Let's check it out. Tip number three, so don't ever do something you're uncomfortable with. I've been doing this since I was about 14. I'm 22 years old now. Comfort comes from experience. So the more you do it, obviously, the more comfortable you become with it. And so in the beginning, if you're just starting out, don't do something that makes you uncomfortable. A lot of people ask me why I go on these adventures alone and if they can come with me and I usually say no. It's because most people don't know how to do this. I actually interviewed a police officer in my town for a college project. One of the main reasons they said that they don't want people in these places is because a lot of times people get hurt. Not to get really serious about this, but like it is a very serious thing that I do and it's a very big part of my life, but I've been training myself and learning and practicing and getting to know how to do this and getting to know myself for about eight years now. This is me, this is what I do. Pro tip number three, be careful. Don't ever do something that makes you uncomfortable. Okay, real quick story time. About five years ago, I was exploring this abandoned mill and I found a chimney tower. It had a ladder that climbed all the way to the top. The problem was the chimney was about 60 to 80 feet high. I'm not a very good judge of those things. So I had the opportunity to climb this ladder inside of this tower. It would have been a super sick view. It was higher than anything else in like the whole area and I didn't end up doing it. And so the reason I'm telling you this is because I just stumbled upon a different smokestack. There's a ladder inside that climbs to the top. I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. Let me just see if I can show you guys how tall this actually is. Right there, that's the ladder. I don't know about this. Didn't end up doing it. Some things just aren't worth the risk, but one of these days I will, I will tackle that. This is mission control. We have a successful mission completion. All right, so two things on my list down. I explored the abandoned building. 
I'm still getting used to vlogging around people and in public, so. Second thing, I didn't get arrested in the building. Fantastic, always a plus. Third thing on my list, time to go get some detergent because it's been about a week since I've done my laundry and I'm running out of clean clothes. Got my detergent. That's three for three, so that's the finale of this vlog. Catch you guys next time.